Welcome to Dry Tools by CDI. This is Dr. Dry. We're currently using an iPad in landscape view. If you use portrait view, notice that the menu will disappear and the menu button is in the upper left hand corner. Rotating back to landscape view, the menu is always going to be accessible. The major menu items on the left hand side are welcome, tools, education, products, and other. And by the way, other includes a note to our competition. So check it out. Let's start with the tools section. The way I would normally use this tool is to start and look at weather data. Assuming that you've allowed the app access to your GPS location, it's going to locate you at the center of the map and the 20 closest weather stations to you. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. We're going to select this one nearest us, which happens to be the Owatonna AWOS. This is the ASHRAE weather database used with permission. Upper right hand corner, page view. Now you will see the weather data. In the middle of the page, the high dry bulb conditions. In the center of the page, high humidity conditions. I'm going to go ahead and select the 0.4% conditions. You'll see that's 139.3 grains. So that's sunny southern Minnesota weather conditions. Well, let's say that you're working an application today. It's not in sunny southern Minnesota. In fact, let's go ahead and push the eyeglass search button and let's search for some place you've never been but we would want to go to Timbuktu. Where is Timbuktu? Well, there is Timbuktu. There are no weather stations close enough to it at this point, so we're going to zoom out. Zoom out just a little bit more and the weather stations start to appear. If I, in the upper right hand corner, push the satellite view, now I can get some idea of the geography around Timbuktu. The closest one that looks similar is this one, which I cannot pronounce, but it does remind me of a song. Upper right hand corner, page view, and we can see that Owatonna, Minnesota, sunny southern Minnesota, and Timbuktu have approximately the same high moisture condition of 140 grains. The next normal thing to do would be to understand what the mixed airstream might look like coming into the desiccant or air handling system. So we're going to copy the selected condition this is toward the center top of the page, copy that to the mixing screen. On the top then the outside air conditions have been copied in the return air conditions we need to enter. It's defaulted, but let's pick a application of a hospital surgical suite, which we would normally see at 62 degrees Fahrenheit. And normally it's going to be expressed to us not in humidity ratio, but in relative humidity. So I can change that to relative humidity. And now enter 50% relative humidity the amount of air of the two airstreams can be changed by starting by adding our total CFM. In our example today, if we had four operating suites, that would be 10,000 CFM. At the bottom of the page, I can slide my mixing bar and get to 20%, or I can just change this to say 2,000 CFM, which would be 20%. Lower right hand corner now gives us our mixed air condition of 66 degrees dry bulb and approximately 61 grains. That's the mixed air coming in to the air handler or the desiccant machine. The next tool we'll look at is the psychometric calculator. From our menu I can push psychometric calculator and I can type in any two conditions and let's go ahead and go back to that hospital surgical suite at 62 degrees and 50% relative humidity. Now we have all the other points on our psychometric chart. Notice in the lower right hand corner then vapor pressure of 0.28 inches of mercury. So psychometric calculator. Our next tool we will look at are the HVAC formulas. There are several formulas on this page relative to moisture in air. 
Let's start out by the required supply air humidity ratio. So if the supply air flow rate and indoor humidity ratio are fixed, how dry does the supply air have to be in order to remove a known amount of internal moisture load? So our example today, we are using 10,000 CFM. And let's say our load figured to be 20 pounds of moisture per hour or 140,000 grains per hour. And go ahead and calculate and see that we need to deliver air that is a little over three grains drier than the condition that we were trying to hold. Another formula, very similar to the one we just used, is to determine the supply airflow rate. I've typed in 140,000 grains per hour, our load, our change in grains that we can apply to the space of 3.2, press the calculate button and tells me that at a 3.2 grain reduction I need approximately 9700 or call it 10,000 CFM. So several very useful formulas on this HVAC formula page. Another tool that you can use is the lead time wheel. Some of you might have remembered this in a paper version. It's going to default to today's date. And let's say that your project needed to be completed by December 31st. So we look at December 31st and we see that it's approximately uh, 30 weeks and a few days that you have for completion. But let's say you're not going to be able to start your project until August 1st. Now, looking at December 31st, we can see that's only 21 weeks away. So that can help us in our project management. If you want to get back to today's date, just double tap the screen and it's back to today's date. The lead time wheel. On our menu, you'll see the education menu item. This is where Dr. Dry and various components of understanding moisture and air reside. Go ahead and select any of these YouTube videos. There is also a glossary with the terms that are normally used in our industry. Section One on air handling, one on the various desiccant dehumidification or drying equipment machines that we manufacture, also a basic lesson on how desiccants work. Our service team is identified. And then there's the other portion of the menu, the contact screen. About us, who is CDI? How did we get started? How do we do and what and why do we do what we do? And again, our note to our competitors. See you in the field from all of us here at CDI.